In this video, I'm going to explain this inner product space example. So, let V be the vector space of real valued functions on this interval 0, 1. And then from V, we take two functions f and g. And it is defined in this way. So, our aim here is to check whether this one is an inner product or not okay if it is an inner product then that means this vector space equipped with this inner product is an inner product space so for that we have to check whether these four conditions are satisfied or not so let's come to the first one okay so let us have here f, g, and h from v, okay? So, and a scalar c from, from a field f. So, the first condition is that the inner product of f plus h, comma, g is equal or not to the inner product f comma g plus h comma g we have to check this one okay so let us come here f plus h comma g so how is it defined it is defined from 0 to 1 f t g t d t so that means from 0 to 1 in place of f t we have f plus h t and then g t t t okay so what can we do from here so look here we can write this one f t plus h t and then g t d t okay then we can multiply in this way 0 to 1 f t g t d t plus 0 to 1 h t g t d t what is this 0 to 1 f t g t d t it is the inner product f comma g and what about this one inner product h comma g so the first condition is true okay this one is true so let's come to the second one. Very simple. Second one. We will be checking whether inner product C, F, G is equal or not to C into inner product F, G. Let's check this one. So now, what do we have? C, F, G. How is it defined? 0 to 1 in place of ft which one in place of ft we have c okay c f t and then g t d t okay so c is a scalar we can take it out so we have 0 to 1 f t g t d t so this one is what it's the inner product f comma g so the second condition also is true now let us come to the third one so here actually the third one reduces to this one because we have seen that this is the real valued function so we have to check when uh, when the case is f equal to r so we have to check inner product sorry in the product fg is equal or not to in the product g f okay so let's check that how is it defined in the product fg 0 to 1 f t g t d t okay here we can interchange g t f t this is true okay so what is this? 0 to 1 gt 
product of d it is in the product g comma f so what happened this one also is true okay we check for this one because it is the vector space of what of real valued functions on this closed interval 0 1 okay so now we will be checking the last condition the last condition we have to check whether inner product f comma f is positive or not if f is non-zero so what do we have f comma f it is defined as 0 to 1 ft but f is equal right so in place of gt we have again f t dt so what is this sorry it is 1 it is f t square dt okay so if your f is non zero then what happened this f t i mean to say if f is non zero then f square okay from here we get f square then this f square is bounded it is bounded away from zero on some sub interval of the closed in interval zero one okay so if your f is non-zero f square is bounded away from zero so that means if it is bounded away from zero in on some sub interval of this closed interval zero one then it shows that then it shows that what your inner product f f is what it is positive so what happened the fourth condi condition also is satisfied so that's why this one is an inner product hence this vector space equipped with this inner product is an inner product space that's all thank you